Lal Bagh Botanical Garden. I'm sure people are being frisked to make sure they're not carrying any food. These trees look a little lonely because they've lost their matching trees on the other side of the road. They've given way to progress to the metro. Always a tough thing, right, to balance this with that. So I remember, uh, you know, ordering Uber from my office, let's say to go to town and you'd have BMWs and Mercedes that would show up. Oh, you own it? Yeah. Then you should give me a good rate on my tyres, yeah? Uh? So of course, tyres have become so bloody expensive, they're expensive than gold. Hey folks, hope you're doing well. I've got some good news and of course you've already probably read it in the title of the video, if I have put it already, is that I've got, I finally located tyres for the fat boy. And uh, so I'm on my way now to pick up the tyres. For those who may not be in the know, it's been a rather difficult proposition trying to source tyres for the fat boy. Uh, due to import restrictions and a whole bunch of other things that complicated imports of uh, heavy duty tyres, especially for uh, sports vehicles, sports bikes and things like that into the country. So I've got the tyres, uh, but the tyres are very, very expensive because uh, that's what um, the hike in import duty has done and also coupled with the lack of availability. But bottom line, we have the tyres and so I'm on my way to this uh, store that I identified uh, which keeps a whole range of tyres, not just for the Harley Davidson but also various other motorcycle companies. So that's where we're headed now to go and pick up the tyres and, uh, and then get it on the fat boy. Simple as that. Whenever I pass by that uh, place and I see that hoist, it kind of takes me back to uh, memories of uh, growing up in Mumbai because my dad used to be used to run a factory that used to make those electrical cranes and hoists. You know those lifting equipments, things that lift uh, up to 20 tons. So whenever I see one of those hoists, uh, like I saw in that granite place there, it immediately takes me back to those times. Lal Bagh Botanical Garden. I'm sure people are being frisked to make sure they're not carrying any food. I don't know if uh, marriage certificates are being checked yet but uh, recently there was this whole uh, directive that was given which said that uh, you cannot take food into the parks and uh, various other things. In fact, I had put up a tweet on that which elicited a fair bit of uh, response in terms of retweets and likes. It just doesn't make sense, right? When you say, okay, fine, you have a park, but you cannot go and have a picnic in a park. Sure, there may be people who misuse, who probably litter, and there are probably some elements who come in and, uh, you know, don't use the park in the manner that they should be using. But then you penalize them. You do what you need to do with them. Find them, whatever. But you can't really ban things and say, okay, fine, you can't go into a park and have a picnic altogether. You can't, let's say, play a game in the park. What's the point then of having a park? I think banning is the easiest thing to do because it really requires no effort. All that you say is, no, you cannot do this. I think it's unfair, but anyway, that's a perspective. I don't know how many of you share that because that's the one thing that we in Bengaluru have, right? All this greenery, all this that we still have to enjoy. Who knows for how long? So today is a Friday and I've just stepped out from the office to pick up this tyre. I'm hoping that uh, I get the tyre today and uh, tomorrow I get it fixed so that on a Sunday I can ride the motorcycle finally without having to worry about uh, the condition of my tyre. So if you notice in the last neighbourhood uh, ride, I actually had a flat so I had to get it fixed before I could do even that sh short neighbourhood ride. It's high time that I really change the tyre. So I'm happy that we're finally able to do this. We're on Double Road, which is where this shop is. The two motorcycles that I see in that store always, CF Moto. The store looks deserted though. My coffee to go. So typically after lunch, I when I step out to the office, I take uh, about three-fourths, actually about a cup of coffee in this mug, just to kind of... Uh, keep me awake and alert post-lunch. So as you know, lunch is my uh, 
first meal of the day so sometimes i tend to uh, eat well and uh, especially if it's things like rice etc you do feel a little uh, sated you do feel a little uh, lethargic so that's where the coffee helps talk block are there well the place is called talk block which is where i'm moving to find my tire hi how are you hey, sir, sir what's up we are just actually in the middle of cleaning something sorry for the mess That's okay. You can see tires everywhere, no? Which is what you expect to see. So you guys sell what? Only motorcycle tires, is it? Uh, like, yeah, maybe. Come, to... Rohan, right? Yeah, yeah. Rohan, this is Shashank. Rohan and Shashank from Torque Block. Correct. So how old is this place? This is this is one year old. Okay. Business from three years. Okay. So who owns it? Ami. Oh, you own it. Yeah. Then you should give me a good rate on my <laughs> tires, yeah. Ah. Yeah. Uh? Pleasure. So of course, tires have become so bloody expensive. They're expensive than gold. So what are we buying? We are buying the Mezzella tires. Okay. Uh, which are made in Germany. Okay. Uh, ME Triple Eight series. Okay. Right. Uh, which are, uh, I mean, like comparable to the Michelin any day. Really. Right? The cost effective also. Uh. Easily available with us at least you know here in Bangalore. Uh. Right. Uh, and we have been actually offering the same Mezzella tires. Uh, you know, Pan India. uh customers are like really happy have no problems uh will give you good life excellent grip so how many kilometers can i run on this uh 20000 20000 actually maintain it well uh right? on an average like 15000 on a minimum right? okay but if you push and you know like maintain it well easy 20 plus the last couple of tires that i have got on the fat boy did about 20 to 23000 each and uh, my riding is fairly steady fairly Slow and steady wins the race. That's my motto always when I'm riding. So can we take a look at the tires? Yeah, sure. The ME Triple Eight. This is a this is the front tire. That's the one forty. Uh, Mezzella one forty seventy five seventeen. Okay. One for your fat boy. Okay. okay. I'll get you the rare ones. ये लो वसर टायर तो नहीं है। याँ वो तो 100% जस्ट किडिंग। ये टायर। ओके। इस इस द 255 सेक्शन। ओके। सेम इवन द रेडस्टाइन एक्चुअली मिक्स गेट द 255। आई लेट जस्ट एक्सप्लेन द डिफरेंस। आह ओके। पीपल आल्सो एक्चुअली नो। हाँ। व्हाट इज़ अ हार्ली टायर एंड व्हाट इज़ नॉट अ हार्ली टायर। So that, that's the rear stand tires. You know the sizes are same, the speed rating, load rating. Hmm. You know, like actually it differs. Hmm. Right? But the overall compound, if you can actually see, right, the thread how it's made, hmm. right, it's completely different, right. So this is actually a tire which we give for like sport bikes, like say the BMW S thousand RR. So how much are these tires? These are like very cheap, right? Like if. This tire is actually like thirty-two thousand five hundred rupees. Huh. This is like about fifteen thousand five hundred. So it's fifty percent. Okay. Right. All right. But it would just like eat away on your motorcycle in less than like two thousand kilometers or even less. Oh really? That's yeah. all you can do. Because like it's a super soft compound. Ah uh, okay. Right? See. It's not meant for uh, uh, to take uh, the load of a heavy bike like your Harley. Ah uh, okay. So that's So well, that's the reason why I have to pay whatever I pay for those. Okay. You giving me a good price or not? Hundred percent, sir. So only if I give a good price, will I just will I recommend this store? Hundred percent, hundred percent. We'd love to do that, right? Yeah. Thank you. No, but I think he's been uh, ever since he identified the tire for me. He's actually been connecting with me and asking me when I'm picking up the tires. <laughs> just that I've been traveling, I've been shooting, and I've also not had not made my mind up until last Sunday when I got the flat. So I said, now I have to change the tire. No choice, but let's try this out. Yeah. So let's pick it up. Thanks guys thanks for watching all right hi guys this is the next morning so the tires are with me and now I'm on my way to Tusker Harley Harley Davidson to basically get the tires replaced so it's going to be a slightly busy saturday morning because i got to go drop the motorcycle first get back home and then drive back with the tires Taking out the tires is a long process, especially the rear tire, and that involves uh, dismantling the silencer and things like that. And uh, so you need to get the engine to cool down, the silencer to cool down before they can do all that. So the showroom opens only at 10:30, but I'm going to go there a couple of hours ahead, at least an hour and a half ahead, 
so that the engine cools down and they are able to get the tail pipes out and uh, get the tires on of course now i'm only dropping the motorcycle but then subsequently i'll have to drop the tires as well which are currently sitting in the car so i picked a saturday morning to do this in the hope that there won't be too much traffic it's about 8:25 in the morning and just a short ride from uh, koramangala where i live to level road so i'm keeping my fingers crossed that we're able to do this today so that i can uh, enjoy my ride tomorrow being a sunday without the tension of uh, having bad tires was up a bit late last night looking at uh, making sure a video that we releasing this morning was all good to go typically our video releases are planned way in advance but this was a last minute sort of a shoot and edit so i was on the editing board with the video till last night but now it's up this is the uh, ramadan food walk on mosque road the video is up already by the time you're watching this on food lovers tv do look it up tasted some very interesting things this time around that i hadn't tasted uh, on previous outings to mosque road Riksha wala is really parked on the center of the road, and just as they see you coming in, they will nose their way in. Why would you do that? Why would you cut through a divider and get your motorcycle or your scooter stuck? The U-turn is only a uh, hundred meters away, not too much of a distance to cover when you are on uh, a motorized pair of wheels. Why? Anyways. You know, sometimes it so happens that something gets you. So, like for instance, in this case, the auto guy who tried to nose his way in, even as he saw me coming, and then your mind <laughs> sets off on that rant. So you spot everything and you find a rant with it, right? So therefore, it's very important not to get, uh, not to let things bother you the first time around itself. because it has a snowballing effect otherwise so see something not to not right just shrug it off cuz otherwise you're going to be carrying it like a monkey on your shoulder and that's going to get into everything else that you see that clouds your perception of how you see things well that's philosophy for this saturday morning on hosur road These trees look a little lonely because they have lost their matching trees on the other side of the road. They have given way to progress to the metro. Always a tough thing, right, to balance this with that. We need that cater to the pangs of a growing, ever-growing city, but then you need this too.
It's wonderful when you're able to get out early. In less than seven minutes, I've made it all the way from home till uh, the beginning of Brigade Road. Namma Bengaluru. That's the beautiful thing about Namma Bengaluru. If not for the traffic, <laughs> every city has its issues. So the other day I saw in the video, I think my last Jayanagar video, somebody commented about me being a rider in a hurry and not allowing pedestrians to cross at times. And uh, well, uh, I personally believe that I'm a very slow and steady sort of a guy. I don't, uh, if I see pedestrians, even when I'm in my car actually, I will always give them right of way. But you got to keep in mind that when you watch my video, you're only watching what's in front. You're not watching what's behind. So let's say suddenly there's a pedestrian who's crossing the road, who's appeared on the street. You're only seeing that pedestrian there and whatever's around. You're not seeing the fact that I may have a car or something else right on my tail and that if I were to stop suddenly, the person behind may not have enough time to stop. Right? and would crash into me and I perhaps into the person in front. So therefore, don't be so quick to pass judgment on something that you see without having the full picture. Yes, if you know what's happening in front and what's happening behind me at the same time and you feel there's something wrong, please go ahead and pass your judgment by all means. But don't do so just knowing one half of the story. I think these days in the age of social media and fleeting attention spans, we're very quick to pass judgment even though we have only a sliver of what we actually need to form the whole picture if we are to make a, a proper judgment. Always dangerous to do that. But then as I say to her, is human, to forgive is divine. So I'm grateful to the 99% of you who look at the vlogs and uh, resonate with positivity in your comments and observations so the neighborhood rides I've done two vlogs thus far I've done Jayanagar and Koromangla and I'm actually quite surprised to see the manner in which the vlogs have been received I really did not expect that, you know, I really did not expect to be uh, rekindling so many memories. But it's been wonderful, I've had people writing to me from all over. Not just Bengaluru, but also those living overseas in other parts of the country. Reminiscing their days, whether it's in Jayanagar, Koromangla. Speaking of the old, of the changes that have happened, really encouraged me to look at uh, doing more such neighborhood rides. So, do look out for that one. As for now, on the way to the shop to get new shoes for this beast. rejuvenating to have the breeze hit you after you've been sweating it out in a jam and a traffic light for even a minute
Here we are at the dealership BMW next to Harley. They belong to the same Tusker owners. That's a Pan Amp, which is the adventure. Machine is a bit tall for me. I sat on it once in the showroom. You'll find a vlog on it. But I just felt it was too tall for me to be comfortable. Only in Bengaluru will you see sites like these in the heart of town. Of course, this road now, level road, has become very commercial. Earlier, it was only the rumble of the Harleys that the residents of this street had to contend with. But now, I'm sure there's a lot more activity that's going on. So, in fact, when I used to ride with the Tusker Hog earlier, we would, uh, they still do, they still begin their rides here uh, at about 6, 6.30 in the morning. When you have large groups, well, I used to really feel sorry for the neighbours because these are, as you know, loud machines. And some of the motorcycles can get really, really loud. So I would always feel a little uh, sorry for the people who lived around here. And so on a Sunday, especially, I think none of them out here needed an alarm clock because between 6 and 6.30, they could hear the rumble of the Harleys to wake them. So if you were a motorhead, if you loved your motorcycles, I guess that was a great sound to wake up to. Thank you. Well, I ordered a Uber to get back home. No point in waiting here. Well, the motorcycle is dropped, so go to go back home and then uh, head back here with the tyre once my driver gets in. One option was to stop by here somewhere and uh, have a cup of coffee. I've already had a cup of coffee at home and I'm sure that if I go to a place like Koshi's, I may end up having more than coffee. And so therefore, it will also take away from my intermittent fast. So I said, okay, fine, let's go home. It's a bit of a to and fro, back and forth, but I said it doesn't matter in an Uber after a very, very long time. I still remember when Uber first came into India and I think this was at least about uh, 9 or 10 years ago, I'm not sure. You basically had luxury cars. So I remember, uh, you know, ordering Uber from my office, let's say to go to town and you'd have BMWs and Mercedes that would show up. So for those who've probably been on Uber just recently, I mean, I'm sure that sounds unimaginable, but that's how they made an entry into Bengaluru. So I used to find it rather amusing. You know, you'd uh, get a short ride, you know, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, uh, get off a Merc or a BMW, whatever was there, and your ride cost you about 100 rupees or so. It was funny, but uh, that's the way it was then. Of course, today it's an entirely different uh, cup of tea altogether. The app says I'm going to be home by 9.12 and I left around 8.30. I think that's one of the things about uh, Nama Bengaluru. So if things move smoothly, I've actually gone to the dealership, dropped my motorcycle, coordinated with the security, booked an Uber and uh, will be back home in uh, 45 minutes, 14 kilometers. Fantastic. So when things work, they really work very well. Well, driving back to the dealership this time to drop the tyres. So, busy morning, but uh, at the end of it, the motorcycle will be completely ready. How are things? All well? Going on well, sir. How are you? I'm doing well. Emanth? How are you? Good, yeah. Did you get any ceramic coating done on the bike? No. Why? Looks like I have no more You gotta take care of it, no? So is that both tire replacement? Both tire replacement, no? Okay. What about the brake shoes? Are they fine? If I remove the wheel, we'll take out the caliper. You'll come to know. Yeah, we'll come to know. These tires are fine, no? Yes, sir. How much time will it take? 3 o'clock, 3 to 4. But you'll give me the motorcycle today, no? So well, that's Hemant, of course, the man here at the Harley. Huh? The chap who's responsible for ensuring that all the Harleys in Bengaluru function the manner in they're supposed to. Huh? Thanks. Looking nice, huh? shining. Well, the tyres are at the dealership now and uh, Hemant's going to do the needful. So anyways, uh, got to get back here in the afternoon and pick up the motorcycle. I think there may also be an issue with the brake pad, which may perhaps need to be changed. So if that happens, that needs to happen too.
Well, there's a motorcycle with the new shoes. Well, that looks very good, the tires. Finally. Was missing those deep grooves on the tires for a very long time. So these are the tires that I have now, Metzeler's. The Marathon Ultra. ME888. 